Jeremiah 28 and verse 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied it both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. They call her Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash, the honor side teachers, the apostles, and the other bishops of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the 144,000, the elect men of the nation of Israel that's teaching in truth, society, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. Yeah, prophecy is pretty much taking center stage. You know, and this is becoming the most talked about thing in the media. You know, the biggest concern amongst the masses of the people here in this society is the things that's taking place globally, and not only globally, but right here in America. You see, you're pretty much experiencing, you know, witnessing the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shah unfold in the earth, you know, which is the spirit of prophecy. And we was ultimately sent forth to give you warning of the things that's taking place of the sword, you know, for the lack of better terms that the Lord is sending to the planet of earth by way of the plagues. You know, and these things are also going to be accomplished through prophecy. You see? So it says, The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied it both against many countries and against great kingdoms, in which the prophets today is prophesying against this great country, this great kingdom, America, Babylon the Great. You see, of war and of evil and of pestilence. You see, because these are the things that's also going to consume this place. This place is going to be consumed in war, World War Three, civil wars, race wars, Clash wars, you know, all sorts of things is going to be uh, taking place here in this society, right on the soils of America. It says in evils, you know, bad times and pestilences, many, many different sicknesses or, you know, diseases erupting here in this, uh, in this society. And that's also going to bring forth those evil times, you know, when uh, certain resources start to dry up, falls to food. You know, uh, you have many articles in which I got a few articles queued up. Showing that the food production is, is continually declining, you know, from pestilences erupting, contaminating the food, you constantly having recalls, and it's only a matter of time before the the people feel the brunt, <laughs> you know, the famine, man. Because slowly but surely, the Lord is taking the food away. You see, verse nine it says the prophets was prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, the end. Shall the prophet be known that the Lord have truly sent them? I'm reading in NLT. It says, so a prophet who predicts peace must show he is right. Yeah, and these niggas ain't going to be able to show they right, man. You know, these different, you know, uh, I guess, you, you, you know, pastors and things like that. People that like to try to predict the future, saying that everything's going to get back to normal. You know, they, they send their dream of peace and safety unto you. But the Lord is saying some destruction, man. The words that the prophets is speaking is 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 you no know, evils and only evils. You see? So it says, so a prophet who predicts peace must show he uh, he is right. Only when his predictions come true can we can we know that uh he is really from the Lord and their predictions are not gonna come true, man. Because yeah, here it is, you prophesying of peace, but Things is uh, continually getting worse. You see? Real quick, just to go into these articles. This is from Inside Headlines. It says, CDC issues urgent warning against drinking raw milk as bird flu fears, bird flu fears rise. 42 herds in nine states affected, man. You see? And this is all the works of your how by Shemal Shai. the Lord drying up the resources here in America. You know, it says the CDC has issued an urgent warning against drinking raw milk as a major bird flu outbreak spreads across dairy cattle in the U.S. It says as of Monday, federal officials said at least 42 herds in nine states are known to have cows infected with the type A H5N1 virus. There haven't been any human cases since last month in Texas in which Esau Edom, he know this. You know, he know that it's, it's certain cows out here, you know, there's, they got diseases but yet he's still milking them and sending forth you know the milk to grocery stores for you people to consume it just so you can get sick because this h1n1 blur bird flu virus can potentially be the next pandemic to shut this country down <clears throat> you know 
It says the virus have been found in high levels in the raw milk of infected cows. A viral remnant have been found in samples of milk sold in grocery stores. The Food and Drug Administration said, yeah. So they selling people contaminated milk, man. <clears throat> and people is consuming it and they getting sick. You see? Hey, next they might come out with a disease called the mad cow disease for real. You know? <clears throat> but it's the Lord that's doing these things, man. And it's only, it's growing. You see? It says, this is another article from Entire Headlines. And all these things ultimately concerning the food, man. Because the Lord is sending forth a famine to America. You know, it says, expert says they have no idea how fast the bird flu is spreading across America. It says avian flu is spreading rapidly amongst cattle, but public health and infectious disease experts are concerned the United States is too limited in its testing, leaving an incomplete picture of the virus spread, you see? So they don't even know how, you know, how fast the virus is spreading. You know, it's not being contained. You know, it's pretty much just spreading rapidly. And it's going to start to jump into all your products to the point they're just going to have to do so many recalls that you're going to have that supply and demand. You know, you're going to have that hyperinflation. You know, uh, certain goods is going to be too far to reach. Certain things that was once a dollar and, you know, 99 cent, she going to go up to $5.99 and 99 cent. You see, and it's all going to be because of the resources that's reducing here in this society. You know, uh, one more article. It says H5N1 has mutated, destroying bird populations, infecting mammals. And now experts says it's only a matter of time until it jumps to humans, you see. Because, yeah, this nigga, he's selling you products that's contaminated with the H1N1. You know, like far as the milk. This nigga ain't, he ain't got no sticker on or uh, telling them to take the milk off the shelves. He's still selling it to you. So you put it in your cereal, you baking with it. You know, you making pancakes with it or whatnot. And now you getting sick. You see? So this could potentially become an, uh, a pandemic, you know, amongst these people here in this society where they being uh, contaminated by the uh, the H1N1. It says the H5N1 the H5 virus has been uh, devastating has been devastating bird populations and is now infecting mammals too. Is human to human transmission next? And are we ready for another pandemic? You see? And they already subconsciously putting it in your mind that another pandemic is coming. They've been telling you that. You know, after the C19, they pretty much got uh they didn't pretty much got control of the C19. Now they say, yeah, we need we must prepare for the next pandemic. And this is just all the plan that Esau Eden to bring forth destruction, to bring forth a crisis, so he can introduce that that CB that CBDC central bank digital currency, you know that the, the micro C hip to you, as a as a uh, as a solution, man. You know how to track your health. If you want to know if you got the virus or not, you take this thing, and we just scan it, and we can tell what's going on in your body. You see. It says over the over the past four years, a silent pandemic has been raging. Yeah, and this is the spirit of the Lord, man. You know, it says one in which the death toll is believed to number in the hundreds of millions, but which have but which has received remarkable little attention until now. You see, so they pretty much saying, yeah, hundreds of million people can be put to death from this, man. But this is just all the works of your how about Hashem, your how shot, man. You know, it's the Lord that's doing this. You see, Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, in verse verse five, it says, "Behold," said the Lord, "I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction." You see, and hey, that's that's what the Lord is doing. He bringing forth these things. This is what's going to contribute to reshaping this society. You know, the famine. The soil is going to bring forth a lot of death and destruction. You see? Going here, this is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 6. In verse 22, it says, And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. <laughs> you see? Yeah, a lot of these store closures are uh, taking place. 
A lot of products is being recalled, you know, and it's the Lord drying up the resources. It says, and the trumpet should give a sound, which when every man hear it, they should be suddenly afraid. And at that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. Yeah. Friends is going to fight one against another like enemies because of the resources drying up, man. You know, because of the famine is going to be so great. You see, it says the springs of the fountain should stand still and in three hours they should not run because the Lord is going to shut things down. You know, this is all the works of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and verse 14. It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yeah, because what's coming to the world? Great miseries. You know, the things that you used to having, you're not going to have no more. The life that you used to live in, you're not going to be able to live it anymore, man. You know, having an abundance of resources and all sorts of things, entertainment and distractions that will keep your mind from, you know, from losing things that you do to keep you sane. You know, those things are also going to be taken and you're going to see these uh, people act like lunatics out here, which they already is, man. You know, these people are already <coughs> lunatics here in America. So it's only going to get crazier, man, once the Lord start to dry up these resources. So it says, for the sword and the destruction draw not, and when people should stand up and fight against another, and, uh, and swords in their hands. You see? And what's going to cause that? Resources drying up. The uh, America reducing in strength. You know, the things that drove this place not being available anymore. You know, are not pretty much holding weight or holding the same influence. It did prior to these evils unfolding. And a lot of people is going to get caught up in that, man. Because they're not looking for these things to take place. You see? So real quick, I'm going to close out here. Second Edges 8 and verse 50. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time. So like it, that, so like it, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride. So this is what the people is about to experience, man. Great, great miseries. You see? And one thing that's going to accomplish it is the famine. In which we see it growing. That's why these articles is coming out. Because these are current events. These things are taking place now. You know? But yeah, Lord willing, I can I pray that you was edified, giving all under glory and praise to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash. There was always a warning from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Lord willing to this video. Shalom.